Hi all, hope you've had a blessed day today. Today we're going to talk about Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hmm. Would a soldier go into battle without his gear? Would a firefighter run into a burning building without his protective suit? Would a police officer try to stop a crime without his equipment? The answer is no, they wouldn't. And in some cases, these people prepared many years for that one moment when they have to protect themselves and others around them. Because if they're not prepared, then they can't do the job. Every day, we face a battle too. We have to be prepared. Because there are battles going on right now that we can't see. And if we're not prepared, we're not doing our job. And what is our job? Our job is loving God and the people around us the way he loves us. God gives us the armor that we need to fight these spiritual battles. But we have to be intentional about it. And what does the armor consist of? Well, there are six pieces of the armor. One is the belt of truth. If you don't know what's true, how can you tell when you're being lied to? Well, we study God's word and we know what the truth is in the Bible, then we know because the truth never changes because God never changes. So if we know what is true in God's word, we can apply it to our daily lives. Two, we got the breastplate of righteousness. The only way for us to be righteous is to be covered with Jesus' righteousness. We have to remember that Jesus alone makes us worthy of God's love. Next, we have the shoes of peace. Peace is a gift that Jesus gave us for both our mind and our hearts. Peace isn't something you're going to find in this world. It only comes from God. Three. Nope, we're up to four. <laughs> the shield of faith. We have to put all our faith and our trust in God to help us fight the many weapons that the enemy throws at us. What weapons? Weapons like fear and depression, doubt. Our faith helps us stand our ground and move forward. Five, you got the helmet of salvation. Salvation comes through Jesus Christ alone. Nothing could ever separate us from God. So we put our trust in Christ for salvation. Our souls are protected. Finally, it's the sword of the Spirit. The sword, and you notice if you look it up in the Bible, the sword is the Word of God. We can use the Word of God in both a defensive battle and an offensive battle. How do we use this, his word? Of, how do we use his word as a sword? We use it by memorizing scripture and applying it to our daily lives. It's important to remember that we do have a spiritual enemy out there. The enemy is not our brothers and sisters. But we need spiritual weapons to fight a spiritual battle. When you get up in the morning and you intentionally decide to wear that armor, you're ready for anything that the enemy is going to throw at you that day. And he will come at you simply because you are a child of God. God bless you all.